turn to Civ 5 Vox Populi as I continue with the epic game pace. Still playing as Korea. So far, haven't won a single game yet on <laughs> this immortal on difficult, immortal on epic speed, and things are gonna get very messy very soon. And sadly, my income looks pathetic. All right, I'm like I should go industry. I did good. Um, you will switch positions. Uh, the problem with dynamite is the fact that if I go with that, wait, I do have the great wall, right? Um, I don't remember. Yeah, I have the great wall. So the moment that's gone. I'll be kind of in trouble. Just kind of. Do I trust Egypt? Let's try it. Open door. Thank you, Syria. Turk landmarks. Oh yeah, I I really hate Egypt in this game. It denied me my reformation, which could make a huge difference. What? Oh yeah, how behind am I? I, I don't remember. Ration. Oh right, I only just opened my... I'm quite behind. The tech leader? Syria? 44 out of 43. Yeah, I'm behind on a lot of aspects, which is really bad. Um... All right, I should be upgrading. How expensive are these? Two fifty-five. Um, yeah, why not? So I don't like the fact that I have a muskeman here. Muskeman isn't going to hold the line. It's not like I have a lot of supply to work with either. I gave him open borders, right? Yes. I'm hoping this will put us on good terms, but I don't know. It's. I mean, if Egypt. If Egypt goes freedom, I am thinking of going freedom. Printing press. Most advanced 43. Yeah, I'm still behind. And I'm playing a sieve that's supposed to do well, so I've definitely made plenty of mistakes. Uh, let's see, there's one, two. Another archaeologist. That's the thing, like, Egypt could just snipe these archaeologists. And there's not much I can do. It's hidden one. Four turns. Yeah, I don't want to trigger war yet. So, why do I get a feeling the Aztecs are going to attack me soon? <laughs> Call it a hunch. Okay, what do I need next? Let's see if I have any coal. That can make a huge difference. Yeah, e epic speed is definitely something I need more games to learn how to play. 495, yikes. Um, wait, wait. Navy isn't even that useful because even if I have cruisers here, these are all hill. I mean, they could help defend the land, I guess. I mean, I'm not getting cruisers yet, so let's see what I can get. I hope you're willing to give me not all of that. Okay. That's something. 384. Now, one thing I don't get is why there are still spies. 
sent to me. Like I'm not the leader at all. Pretty eight. Yeah, I mean Egypt is pretty strong as well. I just don't know if I could close the gap or anything like that. Because what makes it much more difficult is the fact that later on I have to defend myself. And I just don't see myself being able to defend such a wide front. I mean, Japan is... It says friendly, but... <laughs> I, I don't trust them. At all. I mean, I will keep trying, but if if things like if if I have a defensible position, I wouldn't feel that bad. But right now, I don't have that. Meanwhile, the Ottomans are getting. S so maybe I should have went for a few more cities. I feel three cities is a big mistake. Like one of the issue is. I don't have enough pop for a lot of these national four more, eleven more, four more. Yeah, not getting these hurts. Yeah, wow. That is crazy. I mean to to be fair, or well, well, at least one way I come for myself is that Korea is not a sieve that I'm very familiar with. This is... I mean, this is like, what, my third try? Korea? Like, before I started this, I only played it once on marathon speed, so... That tells you a lot on... <laughs> just how inexperienced I am. Ridiculously inexperienced. Rationalism, 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 industry. So many rationalisms. Yikes. And of course, Egypt also got the Louvre. Like, just a bunch of things. And... Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to defend myself. <laughs> Okay, Golden Age will help to a certain extent. How much will it help? I have no clue. It might help to a certain extent. Wow, I don't have a garden? Yeah, I'm behind on a lot of things. Like, I need to better figure out what to prioritize and such. 835 gold. Whoops. I must press D. Or I don't know. Depends. <laughs> yeah, I only need a couple of games, but I think I think for me it's possible to win Immortal. I just need a couple more games to really figure out. I mean so far I played as Egypt. I mean I played Egypt for the first time, which doesn't help. <laughs> Yeah, my, my tip is don't learn from scratch on the difficulty that you're struggling with. It's not going to end well. I need to... I mean, overall tradition is just not my place. So progress probably would be better. Maybe that's what, what I should do. Either authority or progress. Like, tradition serves... Oh, I was like, I didn't know I had that much gold. <laughs> I was like, wow. Yeah, Egypt won't like it too much, but... I mean, it's not like he's never sent a spy towards me, so I guess it's fair game. Okay, Ottomans attack Syria. Can you declare war while having open borders? Don't know. I think so. Yeah. 
I mean, do I have his open borders? I guess that's a bit. Yeah, you can still declare war. Historic landmarks. Uh, yes, please. Let's try to at least suck up to someone. So Egypt is isn't a bad choice. Watch as the Aztecs just declare war. I wouldn't be shocked. <laughs> I I would literally not be shocked. Yeah. And he's gonna steal my. Oh, that is so annoying. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I think the biggest problem lies in the fact that Like my military, well, my only has one city, I think, so. <laughs> Will my musketman die? Don't know. Let's find out. I'll find out in a moment. <laughs> the part of the problem is I don't have like, I don't have a massive tech advantage. Which doesn't help at all. Actually, let's get a Lancer. That will help. Will this facility attack? Probably. Can I get seven or no? Okay, six. Hey, there's nothing wrong being a, a bit more greedy. Are they still working that tile? I'll be pretty angry if he gets that. Okay, let's attack this. You're kidding. You lived. There's a Lancer. Uh, cancel. I don't know if that'll, like, stay or not. Uh, let's target that. Make sure my... Field gun gets as much experience as possible. Because if I could get extra range, um, if I could get like extra range, splash damage, and all of that, that could actually be pretty strong. I don't think that musket man is gonna stay. I mean, they're gonna leave with my ar archaeologist, but little. There's not much I can do about that. Yeah, the Great Wall is saving me, but I, I can't imagine myself being able to defend. Like I'm, like right now I'm just struggling to imagine how I'm going to defend myself. Really? Out of all of those marshes, that's the only one that's a marsh? Okay, move. There's no way it will stay. Oh my god, I have one source of coal that I can't really defend. Ah, <laughs> oh, life is brilliant. The railroads. Oh, life. Yeah, just keep trolling me like that. Like, I... Yeah, I hope you finish that. Yeah, that's the thing. How am I going to defend myself once the Great Wall goes obsolete? 
What's stopping my enemies from all attacking me and overwhelming me? Good question. I, I, I don't have an answer to that. Would that musky man be tempted to capture the archaeologist? The enemy is near. This day? No, it's backing out. Nine turns. It's never going to finish. Why waste time? We were all plundered. Thanks a lot, jerks. One, two, wait. Actually, with the way things are going, I, I do think that after this, after this game, I'll play another sieve on the same difficulty and speed. I still have to, I still have much to learn. Wait, s suddenly I have four archaeologists? That's fun. Um, I don't know why they're suggesting a Quacha. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Okay. They're gonna heal up. Well, at least that's the plan. Yeah, without the Great Wall, defending would be an absolute nightmare. Because I would be overwhelmed, I just don't have enough units. I mean, Egypt is on good terms with me, but... It's questionable about some of the other like Japan and the Aztecs. I mean Aztecs has open border with Egypt so that in itself is gonna be a challenging. Wait what? Wait wait why are there Oh wow, that is real bad. <laughs> I would rather put everything in the capital. That does suck. Losing that. Okay, the question is where will that Lancer strike? I don't know why it doesn't let me select the option. I'm a little confused on that aspect. Okay, let's get a landmark improvement. Those are pretty good yields. Are you working it? Yes. Actually, I think I'm going to make this episode a bit shorter. Or I could... Yeah, that's the thing. I, I don't know what I'm going to put for my thumbnail. Because I guess half an hour isn't that bad. It's okay, I'll do half an hour. So, for the remaining 11 minutes, I guess I'll just share my thoughts on the matter. Now, did I make lots of huge mistakes? Most definitely. <laughs> that goes without saying. I mean, the, the timing... It's like trying to grab wonders is not a viable choice. At least that's what I've noticed. Let's get harbor. One, two. Okay, pull actually I should put you on the road so you don't so you don't lose as much movement moving around. And so good. See, the thing is, I'm not worried about being able to eventually catch up. I'm just worried about how I'm going to defend. Because my great wall is, becomes obsolete. 
Because right now the Great Wall is the reason why I'm not getting stormed, so to speak. Uh, Ottomans. So what are a couple of things I've learned from this game? Uh, competing for certain wonders just isn't possible because eventually the AI is going to have more policies and texts and they're going to have first dibs. So if I want a wonder, I have to literally beeline for it and go from there. Over to Pakal. Actually, I haven't played Mayans yet, so. Interesting. And something else that I learned is three cities is a bad idea. <laughs> like, a really bad idea. Because of the fact that for National Wonders, you don't get enough. Like, I still need two more pops to get these. This is very delayed. Like, Oxford University would be very useful. I can tell you that. It's a very useful wonder, and yet it's so heavily delayed. It's not even funny. I mean, it's pretty sad, but... Of course, if Egypt decides to declare war, which I, I wouldn't be surprised... I mean, I'm, I'm trying to be on good terms with them, but it's questionable. Oh, the mines are eliminated from the game, yeah. So note to self, I need more... S are you kidding? Of course, Egypt is going to steal this. Yeah, that's an another thing. Not only did Egypt deny me reformation, I mean, Egypt has been a big problem, but I guess that's the case for m most games. Can I say something about this? Or do I have to wait until he actually steals something? Stop spying. I mean, he's not going to attack the Aztecs, right? They have Declaration of Friendship and that? Yikes. Yeah, I'm not going to keep going. It's it's pretty... I mean, I, I made a few critical mistakes and I'm not going to recover. One thing, three cities, not enough. I think you need at least four. At least for the National Wonders, it seems like four is a good number. Um... Getting religion is critical, but so is getting the reformation, so if it looks like I'm not going to be able to get it, I got to beeline for the cathedral. I was off by one turn, and that's because I didn't beeline for it, but that was a pretty big mistake. S mistake. A few other things, I mean just given how open this is, like I'm completely surrounded. I mean, maybe one thing I could have changed was make so not coastal. Now you might be wondering, why would I do that? See, the thing is, if it's coastal, it means... I mean, yes, this is somewhat defensible, but if I put it there, it's even more defensible. Because until battleships, uh, cruisers don't have indirect fire, so my capital would be a lot safer. And if I... If I placed it here... That would actually have gotten me three silvers. Three silvers there and then... I mean getting the monopoly is important. But sometimes you get screwed over like my game with Byzantium. Where I had like t two cocoa and then there's other cocoa like on islands. Yeah. Sometimes you get screwed over by that. But overall I, I feel like this is a good learning experience on how to play tradition. Because one of the big things is that I'm not very familiar with tradition. I usually play on marathon speed and tradition is very weak on slower speeds because like it, it benefits warmongers far more and it doesn't help peaceful plays. Like when you're going tradition, unless you have the few early wars, you can be most definitely certain that you aren't going to get, I mean, you don't want war afterwards. I mean, AI is different. AI has a lot of resources. I mean, maybe if you go like tradition, statecraft, statecraft and imperialism and you, 
and you're able to leverage some kind of tech lead because one thing you have to remember is that the the AI I mean yes they prioritize some text but as humans we can prioritize more like for example maybe the AI is trying to finish the renaissance era tech and I go for rifling and dynamite I'll have gallon guns and fusiliers which might be a huge of course on immortal so far it seems like trying to beat them technology wise is not that simple so maybe at next game I will play a tradition or authority learn a bit more I do think I could win this on this difficulty on the speed I just need a lot more practice so far I played as Byzantium and as well Egypt Byzantium and Korea now Egypt I mean the I mean the reason why I quit the Egypt one is because well, at least the most recent one was because I had two problems one was the Aztecs I should really remove Aztecs I'm kind of tired of seeing them all the time like I'm getting them in a lot of games and I want to see some underserves but like for that game the Aztecs were do slowly dominating their continent and then there's the Austria that's running away with it so even if I could somehow stop Austria the Aztecs would be too powerful by then and in this game we have a powerful Egypt we have powerful Ottomans I honestly don't know who's gonna win like the Ottomans and Assyria are both very strong and of course what happens is eventually Japan I might be able to be on good terms with Egypt but Japan and Aztecs are gonna be a huge pain and once my Great Wall runs runs out the AI is gonna be able to overwhelm my position very easily like for instance these tiles I mean these tiles will allow field guns to fire at my city and I can assure you that even with 55 combat strength it's not gonna last very long and of course I mean I'm still a long way like the only possible victory I can see is science victory and that's assuming I could survive that long. Yeah, I don't... I don't trust in my abilities to defend. I mean, the Great Wall is the reason how I reached this far. But yeah, too many things like key national wonders. And then not getting the reformation because I didn't beeline for the proper wonder. While well, the tech to unlock the wonder fast enough. So I'm gonna chalk it up as a good learning experience. I don't see myself being able to win this. Some of you might say it's too early, but how am I gonna defend this? Like seriously, how am I gonna defend this? My front is way too big. And this is like way too open. At Immortal, the AI is gonna have a lot of units and like my field guns, aren't even close to the next promotion like even if I get splash damage if it feels like there's very little I could do maybe if I have a few more field guns and some frontline units and just forget about these mounted units maybe it could work I said that can't help but what if Japan attacks here <laughs> right there are lots of issues with this problem and my focus was off. Like one thing on Marathon I find is you could do a bunch of things and you'll be fine. But on Standard and Epic, if you don't focus on something, you're going to lose everything. Because that's the only way you could beat the AI to something. To a wonder, you have to beeline for it. To focus on a war, you have to beeline for the tech that will help give you a pretty significant advantage. Of course, if you play Tradition, I do question... How well you could wage later wars. But I guess if you go scientific, you have a better chance of winning wars than if you're going cult uh, cultural victory. But yeah, tradition is my weakest, so I can't say much. Anyways, I am going to end the stream here. I already started, so I can start a new game after this. But for those on YouTube, you'll just see this video, and then you'll have to wait a bit for the next one. I'm not going to spoil what Civ, to be honest, I don't even know what I'm playing. I'm going to end the stream for now. I will start up in 5 minutes. See you all in a bit.